And tonight we have team coverage beginning with KPIX 5's Andrea Nakano on the San Rafael side of the bridge. Andrea? Yeah, Ken and Liz, it's a completely different scene here in San Rafael compared to earlier this afternoon. Within 30 minutes of the bridge reopening, the traffic cleared right up. Caltrans put in a temporary fix tonight by installing metal plates to reopen all the lanes. Crumbling concrete falling from the upper to lower deck of the Richmond San Rafael Bridge struck and caused major damage to a white Mercedes around 11:20 this morning. Then it was complete chaos. Some got out of their cars to walk around, but most drivers just waited and waited and waited. They say our infrastructure is crumbling. <laughs> It literally is, I guess, yeah. It was at 11.51 when Caltrans shut down both directions of the Richmond San Rafael Bridge. Just about three hours later, one lane in each direction opens while crews work to repair the unstable concrete. But less than an hour later, more concrete comes crumbling down, forcing another full closure of the bridge. We heard one lane was open, so I came over here to try to get through, and uh, looks like it's closed. Caltrans inspected the portion of the bridge where the concrete, the size of a football, fell onto the lower deck. The goal was to open the bridge as soon as possible, but safety came first. Just after eight, all lanes of the bridge reopened again. The metal plates are a short term repair, so obviously, that we can open the bridge now and have it ready for the morning commute and the, and the late night commute. Instead of sitting in this parking lot on 580 captured by Sky Drone 5, some opted to take alternate routes to get home. Oh, at some point, I'll probably try to go 37 and see if I can get home that way. Have you checked maps? Yeah. <laughs> it said like two and a half hours to get home. My commute home is already two hours, so it's going to be horrible. Others, though, decided not to wait behind the steering wheel and waited for the traffic to pass. I was just about to call the wife and tell her I won't be home for dinner. <laughs> she can start without me and take care of the baby without me, and uh, I'll go to the brew pub. An emergency order has been issued so that Caltrans can quickly get a contractor in here this weekend in hopes of find, finding a long-term solution to this problem. Live in San Rafael, I'm Andrea Nakano, KPIX 5. And KPIX 5's Joe Vasquez continues our team coverage. He was on the Richmond side of the bridge when the lanes finally reopened tonight. Joe? They opened the bridge later than expected after the evening commute. Police started escorting motorists through just before 7.30 this evening. Go ahead. Let's go. Let's go. Now, this bridge has been here 63 years, built in 1956. It has endured earthquakes, even a retrofit project completed in 2005 without any serious problems. We tend to take the Richmond San Rafael Bridge for granted, but when it's down, you can see how the impact is felt across several counties. It becomes a regional issue. The chairman of the Contra Costa County Board of Supervisors tells me he wants a full report made public as soon as possible. It doesn't feel public confidence to see falling concrete on a major Bay Area bridge. So the public and all of us deserve understanding what happened, what was the cause of that, and does it mean that something else needs to be done, and we want to be thorough. We want a full understanding and report at a regional government meeting next week. Now, these bridge tolls, they're not exactly cheap, and folks have been telling us today they're wondering whether their money is going toward upkeep. Well, Supervisor John Joya tells me the answer is actually complicated. He says toll money generally goes towards supporting transit and transportation projects in the Bay Area, but only a small amount is dedicated to bridge maintenance. Joe Vasquez, KPIX 5. And, of course, traffic has been ridiculously bad all across the Bay Area basically all night long. And here's a bit of good news. We are just starting to see traffic loosen up a bit through downtown San Francisco right now. That line of headlights uh, is Interstate 80 heading to the Bay Bridge. Uh, a little bit earlier, the financial district looked like a parking lot. It was awful. Drivers trapped in bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic for hours. Even cable car service had to be shut down for a while because traffic was so bad. And the line of red lights you see right there, that's Highway 37 tonight. One of the alternate routes around the bridge. The backup went for miles and miles out there. KPIX 5's Andrea Borba got an earful from drivers in Novato. I got on 37 and saw that I was backed up and it was going to take me 99 minutes to get to Sears Point and I said, I'm not doing this. You need to go out of the road. From confusion. 
to anger on Sir Francis Drake Boulevard. It didn't take long for the fallout from the closing of the Richmond San Rafael Bridge to hit drivers. This is completely insane. I, I do this drive every single day. It's never like this. The 80,000 plus drivers who used the bridge daily had to go elsewhere, and they did, backing up into traffic on Highway 101 North. It's really strange because we were just driving back from Corte Madera, and there's never usually traffic at this time. And positively clogging Highway 37. Gosh, it's been, it's only been about a half hour, but it's really crazy. I'm hours from where I'm supposed to be. I work up here and I'm just trying to get home. The on ramp to Highway 37 began backing up onto 101 before 3 in the afternoon, and the grid slowly began locking. All while Caltrans engineers struggled to get a major east west artery back online. That's not good at all. No, but it's better than getting hit in the head by a piece of concrete. I'm standing on the Marsh Road off ramp to Highway 37 right now. For hours and hours, we watched cars hit the traffic on Highway 37 and say, Nope, I'm not sitting in that. Get off the exit and turn around here and go back to Highway 101, simply giving up on their commute until things clear out here. In Nevada, Andrea Borba, KPIX 5.